Alright, so we're going to try a very simple looming demonstration. We've got this lemonade bottle and I've got two pieces of blue tack stuck to the side of it. The first one's just in line near the edge and the first letter of this piece in the red where it says slim line. And then another piece behind that near the L. And all we're going to do is turn the bottle so that it goes beyond our horizon in our view. Which puts us basically in line with this. And then, simple test, we'll put it in water which will refract the light coming from the bottle. And that's going to loom these pieces so that we can see them in the camera. If I just zoom in, I'll just adjust the focus. Okay, so we can see that first piece sticking out. Well, let me zoom it out a bit. And I'll lift that back out. see it. Can't see it. Can't see it. Now if we turn it slightly, do a slightly different test. We'll turn this so that we can see the first lump clearly. So now that's lined up, so we're looking between here. And what you'll notice is, if I just zoom in, adjust the focus, sorry, you can see the S the L, both pieces of blue tack are visible and beyond the second piece into the letter I. So let me just zoom that out again so you can see it when it comes out. Move it straight in front of the camera. Okay, so we can't see it. We can only see the first piece. We can't see the red writing. Hold on. Right, we can see a little bit of the beginning of that red section, but we can't read any letters and we can't see the second piece. Right, move it back. I'll even turn it slightly away from me as I place it in to make sure it's not to do with me positioning it wrong. And straight away you can see the red before I even zoom in. Let me just adjust that. And again we can see both pieces. And this is just a simple homebrew test. The principle can be applied to any object that's got either a circular, cylindrical, spherical, whatever surface. You can place it in the water like this and you'll see further around the edge of it than you would normally be able to see with your eye. And this is a simulation of looking at an object's basic geometric shape and then seeing how much more of it you would see when it's in a refractive medium similar to the Earth having an atmosphere. So just a little suggestion for those who keep denying what refraction can do. 
you can do this test, anybody can do this test for themselves to show that refraction is perfectly capable of appearing to lift objects that are out with our standard line of sight and bringing it around corners of lifting surfaces, not just things that are above the surface. Cheers.